Hi there, welcome to the channel. My name's Shane, and today we'll be continuing a conversation we've had over a few videos on the setting tool that's used to set adjustments one and two, the abutment plate and the TCU valve screw. In the video where I went through the making of this tool and my measurements and talking through those adjustments a little bit, I put a comment on there and pinned it saying if anyone had the actual dimensions for a, one of the real tools for this to let me know. And Lance from Bundy Bear Shed in Australia, he replied that he had one of the original service tools and he would provide me measurements. So what followed was a series of emails back and forth to him and ultimately led to getting a package from Australia. Thank you, Lance. Here's the original sheet that Lance sent that had all the measurements for the original David Brown setting tool. And using this, I was able to put together a 3D model, which we'll see here, of that setting tool using all the correct dimensions. We went through a few iterations and making sure that the dimensions were correct and the hole size mainly. And ultimately, we're able to arrive at a version of this that works really well. If you go up to the top corner up here, you'll see a link to the video where Lance tests the 3D printed model of this. I believe Lance will be actually selling versions of this through his website. And I believe Barry, Man from the Mist, will also be selling a few of these. I don't know if I'm going to sell any just yet. I don't have a 3D printer. We'll see about that. I'll be making the plans for this, the STL file, the Fusion 360 file, the object files, and other types of files available for this in a Google Drive uh, location. Link will be in the description below. You will also find there drawings. Here's an actual dimensional drawing of the actual David Brown service tool, DB961796. And if you have a mill or um, some way of manufacturing a service tool, this gives you the exact dimensions of what was modeled in Fusion 360. You can also create your own setting tool by bending over some sheet metal. And that's what this drawing is intended for. This is a template for the overall form of the setting gauge. So basically you take this and glue it on, cut it out. It's a one-to-one -one representation. It's in A4 and eight and a half by 11 on the Google Drive site. Again, link in the description below. Cut this out, glue it onto a sheet of uh, sheet metal and cut out the general shape. I did not put the hole locations on this template. The hole locations are extremely critical and I don't want you going by a template for that. You need to make, if you're going to create your own out of a piece of sheet metal, you need to be able to measure and put the holes in the correct places according to this diagram down here below. You need to put those in correctly. So I did not give you the hole locations here on this template. That's for you to put in if you decide to go this route. This is intended to be just as a template to cut the general form of the service tool out. I did use this as an example to create another one. All I wanted to do here was test to see if it would fit down in the, the hole there. I was just playing around, so ignore this hole. It's off center and it's not even right. But this is an example of using the, this diagram, this drawing to create the general form of the setting gauge. So I've got some video here. I'll show you of that and I'll speed through this here as much as I can. What you see here, all you really do is glue it down somehow to a piece of sheet metal. Then cut it out. Bend it over. Make a 90 degree bend. And you should have the general form and shape of the setting tool. Now I did extend the leg down here just a little bit longer uh, to give you a little bit more meat so that you can hold it while drilling the hole or whatever. This will fit just fine down in the right hand ramshaft bracket. While we're on the subject of 3D models, 
I've also taken the opportunity to model out the pushrod bracket of the Selectomatic system. This is what holds the height control and depth control pushrods, and I went ahead and modeled this out as well. Some people I've read have had issues with these things breaking, and they are very hard to come by or are very expensive. So I took an opportunity to model out this based when I had mine out. I took the opportunity to model it out and get all the dimensions of mine. I sent these over to Marshall Smart, and he actually had his brother print out the pushrod bracket here in nylon, and he actually used it on his tractor. I'll put a link uh, down to his Instagram post down in the description below, but I'll show it here too. You can see that he's actually got a 3D printed version of this pushrod bracket in his 996. So that's kind of cool. It did break though. So yeah, 3D printing this might not be the, uh, might not be a good idea, but, or maybe 3D printing it out of something that's a little bit more stout. I don't know. I'll also link down to Marshall's uh, YouTube channel and his uh, Flickr accounts down in, down in the description below. You could use this to manufacture a new version of this bracket, either with a mill or a CNC or whatever you may have or may have access to. If, if yours has broken or are looking for one of these, you might want to price out having a machine shop, take a look at building you one of these brackets. All the dimensions are here, and I'll also make the 3D model of this available as well. All right, to sum up, we have 3D models available of the setting gauge. We have a 3D model available of the pushrod bracket. I have drawings of a flat file, flat drawing of the setting gauge. Again, the holes are not listed here, though you're on your own for the holes on that one. If you're trying to model this out for yourself, here's a drawing that has all of the dimensions that Lance sent me. And all of this will be available down in the description below. There'll be a link to a Google Drive area that has all of the files associated with this. I'll have the STLs, object files, the Fusion 360 files, and all of these drawings. These drawings are available in PDF in eight and a half by 11 and A4. I hope these will help out somebody out there that is in need of making their own setting gauge, if they need to recreate the pushrod bracket, there are some other things I might try to 3D model in the future. I'm also looking at doing the depth control and height control from a modeling standpoint, but we'll see how that goes. I may make those available at some point in the future. But yeah, we have a setting gauge available through Lance at Bundy Bear Shed in Australia and Barry at Man From The Mist they'll be able to print you out one of these. I may get to the point where I can print these out myself, but I'll have to buy a 3D printer first. That you are welcome to make your own. All of the files, again, are listed down in the link in the description below. All right, that does it for what I wanted to cover today. Thank you for watching and y'all have a great day.